Well, you are taking a live look at Bourbon Street tonight. The party, of course, is in full swing for the Labor Day holiday. Southern decadence also reached its peak today. More than 2000 people were expected to march through the streets of the French Quarter as they celebrated the annual LGBTQ event in New Orleans. Now the sun and the heat did not keep people away from having a great time today. It did not matter if it was someone's first time or if they have been going to the celebration for decades. Everybody said they are already looking forward to next year. Early Sunday afternoon, the French Quarter was filled to the brim with thousands of people, both local and from out of town. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. This is about the fifth time that me and my husband have been here. All celebrating the 52nd anniversary of Southern Decadence. <laughs> What started in 1972 as a house party has morphed into one of the largest LGBTQ celebrations in the United States. Many, like Jody Blanchard, have gone to Southern Decadence for decades and say he will be back every year until he just can't anymore. I enjoy it every year and I'll continue to come until I'm loving. Southern Decadence holds a special place for him because when he started attending, the AIDS epidemic was in full swing killing many of the people that were there in Decadence's early days. Particularly since the time of age, uh, but there are a lot of people that still enjoy the celebration and getting together. This year's theme, Birds of a Feather, saw a lot of people out dressed in their most creative ideas of a bird. It's uh, Birds of a Feather, so I thought I'd lean into that a little bit. <laughs> While the parade may be over, events are still happening throughout Labor Day. It's a welcome sight to people in the French Quarter to see a boost in business during the slow summer months. We need it. Yeah, the summer's been brutal. <laughs>